Hey guys, so today I'm going to be sharing with you my home management binder and this is something new that I just put together. It's one of my goals for 2015. For 2014, I did have my Erin Condren Life Planner, which I absolutely love and I take with me everywhere and I now have one for 2015 as well and I'm going to be doing a video on this uh, planner coming up, but I did want something that would stay in my home, which this will be staying in my kitchen countertop and I also wanted something that my husband could come back and kind of look at anything that we have to do, any appointments that the girls have and I also wanted to kind of catch my paper clutter because currently we get the mail, I kind of throw all the trash away and then any mail that my husband needs to go through or any coupons I put in a drawer which is basically our junk drawer and it kind of just sits there, the coupons expire, my husband never really goes through it and it's a really bad system. So I have kind of folders in here to put all the coupons and to put my husband's mail and I hope that this will kind of get us more organized for 2015. And what I really liked about this is that I put all this together for free, completely free. The binder I had, all the dividers and stuff inside I had, and the only thing I thought I had to pay for was that I laminated this first sheet. I got quoted at work, it was going to be a dollar and eighty cents, so I figured, okay, so the whole thing came out to two dollars, that's great. But when I went to pay for it, I ended up getting it for free. So. All this was absolutely free. I found all the printables on Pinterest and I really liked the fact that it kind of was one site with all of these printables. So it's really, really, really simple. You kind of just go through each step and if you don't need that specific uh, printable, then you don't print it out and you print the ones that you actually need. And they all have kind of a rainbow chevron theme. So they all match and it all coming out kind of just, let me show you the front page here. This is the, the kind of, the front cover and it's so cute it just says home management binder in the chevron print color and that is kind of the theme throughout the whole binder so I really like that about this and now I'm gonna just go through the entire binder and show you how I put mine together okay guys so here's a closer look at my home management binder and I think this is a two inch binder again to something that I had at home and I labeled it here home management binder I also put this uh, sheet in the front, it's the daily docket, and I laminated it just because when I had a regular sheet of paper it would get wrinkled and I really didn't like it. So I decided it's something I'm going to be using every single day to write any quick to do's or who I need to call or my favorite part is the water intake. And if I'm going to be using it daily it's just a waste it throughout the paper so I decided to just get this page laminated and it's working out really 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 well. And my favorite part here is the water intake because that's my new year's resolution to reduce or eliminate soda and drink tons of water so this has been working out really really nice and I've been trying to just chug water in order to check these boxes out so that's been really nice and what I use to write on this are these sharpie pens and they're really thin so I like that when you write it kind of comes out like a regular pen see how thin it is let me just switch hands here so I can show you okay so basically Let's say I drank another cup of water, I would just write with that and it doesn't smear at all because it's a Sharpie pen. And then what I would do, put this over here, is get one of these dry erase markers. And this is a trick that my sister taught me. <clears throat> and then you kind of just write over it and, and then get anything to rub it off and it comes off completely. So that's a really nice trick because if you write with these, they basically kind of just smear if you move you know, if I were to just be writing with this, which you can, but then if you touch it, it kind of just smears. I have this clip here that I just had around. It is a magnet. I haven't figured out how to take it off, so I just kind of left it on. But I spray painted it gold to kind of give it, give it a, I don't know, a cute look. And that's how I attach the daily docket here in the front. And then the front cover just says home management binder and it's that chevron print. So let's take a look inside. So inside here I just have some Erin Condren stickers and then this also came in my Erin Condren planner from la last year. So since it's completely done already, I removed this and some things that I was able to reuse like the folder and the stickers and stuff. But I still have to hole punch this so it's kind of secure in there. But I just have some stickers in there and some more dry erase markers and some more Sharpies. So I'm just gonna remove this for now. So this first page here it's just a really cute little layout so you can write little notes. I wrote a note 
for my husband here and just little things that I have to remind myself. I'm, I want to do a sock project, which is basically get all of our socks, match them up, and whatever is not matched up, get it out of the house because we have so many unmatched socks that are sitting around that it's driving me crazy. And the second page is just my calendar, my monthly view. So this is also laminated, so I would be able to kind of just write over it. And as you can see here, I just have the month there and just write little things. My husband had an appointment here and Thursday was New Year's. Just wrote a couple things. And then I, as the days go by, I kind of just scratch out that date. And then here you can just, there's a little note section. They do come with two layouts. So you have this layout, which is a bigger view of the entire month and that's basically it and then you have this layout which I'm not sure which one I'm going to be liking more but this has a section for notes just some to do's and then a smaller version of the I guess month at a glance view so I'm not quite sure which one I'm gonna use yet but I printed both of them out and I have a small key here it's basically just telling me that anything that I write in with blue is family related, anything with green is work and purple are kids. So that's kind of what I'm using for this section. And then we also have this weekly section. You can definitely use this for meal planning or anything that you have on a weekly basis. Like if your kids have, you know, dance or soccer or you know, piano classes, whatever it is that you would like to use this for. Again, I just started, so I haven't really been able to utilize all this. Then this is just a to-dos list and then also a master to-do. So these are probably bigger projects if you want to redo something in your home or you want to redo your closet or you want to organize the kids' room. I think, you know, bigger projects would go in here. And then here we have the menu planning and I kind of started scribbling on this but I haven't finished and it just says menu of the week and then you put the date of the week then you have every single day breakfast lunch and dinner and then on the bottom here you have the shopping list so you would put in everything you need to make those meals and then you can take it with you and check it off as you go so you make sure you picked everything up for your meals for that week so I thought this was really nice and again I love that it just matches the whole, all of these pages match the whole theme and it just has the binder kind of just put together. So that's the first page of my menu tab. And then we have the freezer inventory, which is self-explanatory. You just go through your freezer, write down everything you have to make sure that you know what's in there and it kind of makes you clean out your freezer. So this is nice and I'm gonna start doing that. Then next is my cleaning schedule and I've put this little clip here which I picked up at the dollar store. It's a damask print, I love this print. And I just put that there because I need to access my weekly um, cleaning schedule very, very frequently, especially because I just started this so I don't know what day, what we have to do for what day. So I still have to kind of look at this every single day. But we really needed something that was one load of laundry every day. Very easy, simple task on a daily basis because both of my husband and I work full time so it's really hard to do something big. And then they just have really simple tasks on the bottom and like sweep and mop, I could do that every night, you know, every Monday night. Clean all the toilets and vacuum. The vacuum is kind of difficult for me because I usually do these bottom tasks at night while the girls are sleeping. So I haven't been able to do this one. So I'm thinking of moving this one to like a Saturday or something because I cannot vacuum while the girls are asleep on Tuesday night, basically. And then just wipe all the counters, vacuum again, clean all the mirrors, wipe kitchen appliances. And then Sunday, you kind of have a free day to enter whatever you need and then your goals of the week. So I've really, really liked this. This did not come with all the printables that I've been showing so I'm going to link this below as well I just found it on Pinterest and I absolutely love this then we have the finances tab and this is just bank information and it's nice that I haven't been able to fill it out so I can show you everything it's just if you have different bank accounts and the routing number the card numbers the websites the username and password that always gets me and then I have just my 401k plan here and this is really nice. It's the bill payment checklist. So you write every bill, the date, and then if you paid it every month. And it's just really nice, very colorful, goes with the same theme. I absolutely love this. Then you have doctor's visits, which is now the medical tab. You have doctor's visits. 
and then you have emergency information so you have any doctors pharmacy and insurance information and then just any other information that you want to write down here maybe our parents information just in case and then we have the password tab. This is so important for us because we're always downstairs and we always need the Wi-Fi code and password and we never have it. So this is really nice because we can put it here along with all the other passwords that we may have. My husband and I share a lot of things and he may create the password and I'm always texting him and asking him for the password so we can write everything down here and it's really gonna be convenient for us. I'm really excited about this page. And then lastly, it's just the contacts page i haven't filled this out but just any contacts that we may want to include here and then lastly just miscellaneous dates to remember any important dates we can put and another goal that i have is to read more books so i have this books to read page and i usually really want to read some books and then i forget the name so this is going to be a nice place where i can put everything that i want to read and then check them off as i read them and that's it. Then I have these folders here to catch all of my coupons when we get the mail and make sure that they don't expire. And then whenever I need to go somewhere, I can just take this. It's kind of a plastic folder, so it's really nice. And then I also have here a folder for my husband. So all of the mail that it comes in for him that he needs to review to make sure if it's trash or kind of just to go through, I could just put in here for him. And that is about it, is my entire home management binder. Again, this was absolutely free. Oh, let me show you the tabs. So basically what I did with the tabs, they give you a printout. So you cut the tab out, then I basically laminated. <clears throat> so you cut the tab and I just laminated it with tape, the big kind of packing tape. And then I just taped it along the end of this um, page cover. And then I just labeled it with my label maker. So it was really, really easy. Kind of just put the packing tape and then cut the edges off. So as you can see here, it looks like it was laminated. And yeah, that's all I did. So that's it, guys. That is my entire home management binder. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any comments or questions, let me know. And again, I'm going to link all of the printables down below. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.